What up, family? It's your favorite coach, Javon Wooden of Live Not Love. Make sure you subscribe to the Live Not Love YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for can't miss content designed to help you obtain the purposeful, fulfilling life you deserve. I'm dropping videos every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and every Sunday at noon Eastern Time. So today we're talking about self-worth. I'll start with a quote. There is no value in life except what you choose to place upon it, and no happiness in place except what you bring to it yourself. Henry David Thoreau. What I get from this quote by Henry David Thoreau is that no external factor can determine your true value. That is something that you define for yourself. Self-worth is not what you do, it is what you are. Your job, your house, your social media following, None of that matters in the context of how you should perceive yourself. It's detrimental to your health in a few ways when you start basing your worth on things like that. A study by the University of Michigan showed that students who base their self-worth on external sources, including academic performance, appearance, and approval from others, reported more stress, anger, less performance, and more relationship issues. Students on the other end those who base their self-worth on internal sources felt better, performed better, and were less likely to use drugs and alcohol. The bottom line, letting society tell you that you're not enough is not the move. Realize that self-worth is your essence. It dictates your thoughts, your actions, and what you tolerate, virtually every aspect of your life. With high self-worth comes more joy. When you stop giving the key to your happiness to someone or something else, you can walk in your purpose. Stop letting society, including your loved ones, tell you that your material possessions make you worth something. Matter of fact, stop telling yourself because that's where the problem stems from. I'm calling you out right now on this. I want you to tell yourself right now that you are dope as hell and no one can stop your shine as long as you believe in yourself. Some of us have an issue with believing we are worth it because of past traumas. Maybe you didn't receive the love and respect from your family that you needed to nurture a positive view of yourself. Or maybe you didn't have a lot of opportunities to prove to yourself that you could succeed. Well, I'm telling you right now, that doesn't matter anymore. Go do what you need to do to build yourself up. If you struggle with your self-worth and self-esteem. If you don't, no amount of external success is going to matter anyway because you're constantly chasing happiness that can't be found anywhere but inside you. I get hyped about this because I need y'all to realize how powerful you are. Relationships and all are cool, but they are meant to enhance the person you are. It's unfair to expect someone or something else to be a magic pill to your issues. Go get the therapy or the coaching you need to change your perception of yourself. That inner critic will mess you up if you don't. And it call you all types of names, tell you that you suck and you won't amount to anything. And it have you thinking that you're nothing without someone or something else. Learn to tell that voice to shut the hell up. I wanted to say another word, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it PG-13 for y'all, right? You need to be your own hype man. Let me tell y'all how this whole self-worth thing changed my whole life. When I was younger, I was always angry. And I didn't want to say much to anyone. I always felt like I was being judged by everyone, and sometimes I was. But just the thought of what they thought of me was damaging. That's crazy. Just the thought of what they thought of me was damaging. They didn't have to say a word to me and they had that much power over my life. I was constantly depressed and fighting the urge to end my life because I felt like I wasn't amounting to anything. I've always worked, but it was the typical jobs you do in high school, cashier, car attendant, whatever. So I would see these other kids come to school fly as hell, like always with the latest fashions, money in their pockets, you name it. I had two pairs of sneakers for the whole year. 
maybe some Tims, Timberlands, you know, pair ups or Air Force Ones, you know, from Nike, as they call them. And I had to make a shake with that and a few pairs of pants and some shirts. So I came home just about every day pissed. And I would even miss school or go late just because I didn't feel like I measured up with the other kids. What's wild about this is no one ever teased me or said anything to me. Probably because I was a little hothead back then, but I'll say that for another video. Eventually, this type of feeling of lack got the best of me and God put my ass in jail for a little bit to get my attention. I got out, thankfully. And I also got the spark I needed to do some introspection. I had nothing but time to think in that cell. And it made me realize that I had my family. And that was more than enough reason to live. But I decided also to look a little deeper within myself and find my value. I decided that what everyone else had didn't make me lesser than. I realized that what made me happy wasn't any of that stuff anyway. What made me happy is that I knew I showed up every day as myself. I knew that there was more store for me once I found myself. But that's when things really started changing for me. When I realized that much of the adversity I faced was because of the way I looked at myself. It stopped me from really even trying to change my circumstances. The product of me realizing that I'm the king of my kingdom... I'm now financially able to take care of myself and my family. I have a successful life coaching business and a successful real estate investment firm. Why? Because I now walk in my purpose. I now accept who I am and the path I want to walk to be the best version of me. This is why I want you to realize you have the tools you need, but you may need a guide to unlock them. Getting out of that space of loneliness is not always an easy thing to do. And it becomes even harder the longer you sit in that abyss. That's why I need you to start truly loving yourself right now. Remind yourself that you no longer need to please other people. No matter what people do or say. And regardless of what happens outside of you. You alone control how you feel about yourself. You have the power to respond to events and circumstances based on your internal beliefs. That's where your true value and your true power comes from. Your value comes from inside. It's an internal power and an internal measure that you set for yourself. That's the only metrics you're trying to hit is what you set. Not what someone else sets for you. It took me 20 years to get to the point where I can tell you this because I needed to go through this self-worth recognition journey myself. This comparison culture is the enemy of self-worth. Everywhere you look, there are examples of what perfection looks like. The person living the lavish life or the beautiful body. Who cares? We see it all the time where the people we think have it all end up taking their own lives because they don't see their lives being worth anything. Save yourself from yourself. Stop comparing what you are to a false image of purpose. Be happy being you and you might be right there living your vision of success. When you love yourself, you become better in every way. You have a more satisfying life. Trust me. I hope you enjoyed this session of self-worth. Remember to subscribe to the Live Not Love YouTube channel for content designed to help you obtain the purposeful, fulfilling life that you deserve. Be sure to like, comment, and share if this message resonated with you. Peace.